Assalamualaikum, dear students of class 12. Today our topic is keeping quiet. It is a poem by Pablo Neruda, who lived from 1904 to 1973. Pablo Neruda is his pen name. His real name is Neftali Ricardo Reis Basalto, he, who was born in Chai. He got Nobel Prize in Literature in 1971, International Peace Prize in 1950, the Lenin Peace Prize in 1953, the Stalin Peace Prize in 1953. Yes, uh, <coughs> he, he was born in the town of Peril in Chai. His poems are full of easily understood images, which made his poems more interesting, more beautiful. Uh, in this poem, that is keeping quiet, Neruda talks about the necessity of quiet introspection and creating a feeling of mutual understanding among human beings. So, theme of this poem is importance of quiet introspection for all. Introspection, you know, uh, to meditate, uh, to have deep thought or to reflect on one's own actions. One's own actions. Apne kamu pe soj vichar karna gherai ke saar usko introspection kehte hain. Haan. Yes, dear students. Uh, he was a diplomat. He was a he was a politician also. The title of the poem suggests importance of yes importance of. It suggests the importance of silence, importance of peace, importance of quiet introspection. It suggests controlling oneself, it suggests mutual understanding, it suggests brotherhood. Dear students, this poem has seven sentences out with different line length. There is shift shift of thought from one sentence out to next. Yes, let me read, let me read the first four sentences. <clears throat> Today we will try to understand these first, first four sentences. Now, sentence number one. Yes, it is our number one. Now we will count to twelve and we will all keep still. For once on the face of the earth, let us not speak in any language. Let us sit up for one second and not move our arms so much. So much. Dear students, this is first sentence. Or let me let me try to explain <coughs> this sentence uh, to you. Now we will count to twelve and we will all keep settled. The poet says uh, the poet urges us to count to twelve. This twelve refers count to twelve. This phrase refers count of 12 count of 12 that means 12 hours on the clock or 12 months in a year so he then says we will keep all we will we will all keep settled. let us all be quiet hum sabhi kya karenge khamosh then for once on the face of the earth, when we will keep quiet, when we will not speak, for once, a time kelly on the face of earth, on the surface of earth, let us not speak in any language. Let
let us not speak let us not speak when we will not speak there will be no barrier there will be no barrier on the issue of language uh, all languages will become dumb uh there will be there will be no barrier there will be no distinction on the basis of language now he again says let us sit up for one second let us sit up let us sit or let us pause for some one second and not move our arms so much let us not move our arms here arms is uh, uh, taken in two meanings arms as hand arms as weapon just like we use fire as fire or fire as fire arm they in uh, similarly the poet say let us uh, let us sit up for one second let us pause for one second and not move our arms so much and sit up our physical activities like violence like violence yes so we see in this sentence uh, the poet urges us to sit up to sit up speaking to sit up speech and to sit up physical activities uh, like violence uh, using arms you know arms is used in arms is used in two senses arms as hand and arms as weapon so there is a use of one yes dear students <coughs> now let us move to sentence on number 2 or sentence on second poet says it would be an exotic moment without rush without engines we would all be together in a sudden strange mess yes the poet feels such a moment as unusual and exciting exotic exotic means unusual so such a moment such a moment a aisa lamha would be unusual it would be exciting without a rush there would, would be no rush there will be no quick moment there will be there, there would be no hurry without engines without engines we would all be together in a sudden setting without engine means without machine without machine we all would all be together we all would be together means there would be harmony in a sudden strangeness in a sudden strangeness means unusual moment such a moment would be unusual dear student here is a poetic device uh, without engine this engine actually refers to machine so it is sen ik dotty sen ik dotty sen ik dotty means man a part represents a whole or a whole represents a part yes so this engine it represents a full machine or machine can represent an engine we would all be together this shows harmony in a sudden strangeness and it would be an unusual moment yes dear students let us move to let us move to sentence number 3 yes what is sentence number 3 fishermen in the cold sea would not harm harm whales and the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hand yes fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales and the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hand fishermen you know fishermen in the cold sea when there is silence when we will pause for 
Then we will count up. We will add four. Huh? Dear, then bitter man in the cold sea, in um in unemotional sea. Huh? In static sea would not haul well when they will not go for fishing. Huh? They would not haul well. Whales here represent nature. Whales represent nature. So man would not harm nature. And the man gathering. And the man gathering thought would look at his hurt hand. The man who gathers thought as an activity. The man who gathers thought, this is an activity. The man gathering thought would look at his hand. He would hear, look here means hear, he would tend his hurt hand. Uh, it means destruction of his hand or destruction of to himself. So he will, uh, he will gear, he will give care to himself. Uh, he will give, uh, give care to this destruction done to himself. So he will all uh, he will uh, in, on one side self assess, self examine, self examine. He will search his soul. He will search his soul. Yes. On the other hand, in the shape of fishermen, uh, humans cannot haul whales or they can they can think of protecting their environment. So both nature and human can recover their own. Yes, now let us move to citizen number four. <clears throat> citizen number four. We are just to understand those who prepare green walls, walls with gas, walls with fire, victory with no survivors, would put on clean clothes and walk upon walk about their brothers in the shade doing nothing. Yes. Yes, dear students, those who prepare green war, those people who wage war, who carry on war. Green war means war against nature. Green war means war against environment. War with gas. War with gas means war with new technology. While gases are used to kill people. Wars with fire means wars with weapons. Then there would be victory. Victory with no survivor. There would be victory, but there would not be any survivor who will celebrate this victory. Victory with no survivors would, uh, would put on clean clothes. He suggests if there is silence, there would be no war. So the people would wear clean cloth means they would use shadows. Wo kafan pehnenge. It symbolizes shedding their evil ways. The people would shall people would will shed their evil ways. Wo apne bure kamu ko chodenge. Apne bure kamu ko chodenge. Evil activities ko chodenge. And walk about with their brothers. What about with their brothers? It suggests brotherhood. Huh? Wo chalinge saat saat. Log chalinge apne bhaiin ke saat. In the shade means under the tree. Doing nothing. Wo kuch nahi karinge. Wo sochinge ke hum kya kar rahe hain. Jang lad ke hum kya kar rahe hain. Hathiyar istimal karke. Weapon istimal karke. Gaze istimal karke. To jang hooga. Koi jeet jayega. Lekin jeet manane ke liye koi nahi hooga. Lada ye insan 
یہ اپنے برے اعمال کو چھوڑے گا اور اس طرح بردر ہوڈ کام اس قائم ہو جائے گی اٹ آلسو سجیسٹ دیئر ووڈ بی اے ریپلیسمنٹ آف اے ورلڈ وتھ پیس وتھ بردر ہوڈ وتھ میوچل انڈرسٹینڈنگ اٹ ووڈ ریپلیس اٹ ووڈ ریپلیس دا وار ٹارن ورلڈ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس let me explain it again for you for you people <coughs> now we will come to 12 and we will all keep little for once on the face of the earth let us not speak in any language let us sit up for one second and not move our arms so much here quite urges us to come up to 12 and then be silent then be quiet oh White uses this phrase count to 12 in two senses as 12 hours represented on the clock or as 12 hour 12 months in a year he wishes the people he wishes the people to keep still as long as they can or they could uh, he wants a moment of silence on the earth where no language is spoken where no language is spoken there will be no language barrier between the people no there would be no ill words there would be no harsh language so in this moment of peace why doesn't want anyone to move arms it suggests that people will remain people will remain motionless they will remain remain uh, settled and there would be no war or no violence second citizens are yes it would be an exotic moment without rush without injunctions we would all be together in current stillness the poet feels that such a moment of stillness or silence it would be unusual it would be exciting here would we uh, will there it will have wondrous consequences wondrous results there will be no hurry or no sound of machines to make the environment to make that most clear impure it will be strange it will be uncommon with stillness on all around in such a period there will be leak of there will be bonds of humanity second number third yes dear students fishermen in co in the cold sea would not harm whales and the man gazing south would look at his hurt hand when there will be an activity fishermen would not go for catching fish uh, the whale in the sea they will be safe this idea suggests that human beings would not destroy nature again the man who destroys the man who gathers salt will be able to give attention to his wounded or hurt hands uh, for which earlier he had no time uh, but this citizens are shows by such an inactivity both nature and humans will be able to recover from their damage from their wound yes citizens are number 4 those who prepare green wars wars with gas wars with fire victory with no survivors would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in shade doing nothing yes yes students here poet speaks of those who wage war against humanity against environment wars of all kinds whether they are there is use of chemicals there is use of poisonous gas there is war 
that causes death and destruction, war that leave no none to celebrate victory. So he says, such men should set off their activity and their clothes, which are stained with blood of humanity, with blood of humanity, they should put on new clothes, walk with their brothers, and making brotherhood. So quite implies that war-torn world. It should be substituted by, it should be replaced by one with an atmosphere of peace, with an atmosphere of brotherhood, and with an atmosphere of harmony. Yes, students, hope you would have got me. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.